All right, so <clears throat> today is Thursday, March 10th, 4.12 p.m. And the reason why I'm making this video real quick, let's see if I can get that in there. It's probably going to be looking all reverse. But it's March 10th, Thursday, 4.13 p.m. now. But anyways, I haven't been able to upload videos for weeks if not a month and I have two strikes against my YouTube channel um, and they're false strikes completely fabricated completely false um, not even close you know what I'm saying but they'll use anything anything that I speak about that is just my opinion that I wasn't stating was fact I am just processing what's happening and then I make videos about it and share my thoughts. But apparently my thoughts can be considered medical misinformation and my channel can get striked on it. And if it gets one more strike, it says it right on my dash dashboard, it says if I get one more strike, my channel will be deleted and removed. So they've been doing this to me over and over. As soon as they let me off, I try, uh, I make it one video, boom. Again, boom. They delete the video, they give me a strike, and then they stop me from uploading, and now it says 90 days, so I don't think I can upload for 90 days, and it's just weird how this just happened about a month, a month ago, maybe a little bit longer than a month, just before everything started happening. All the, uh, everything that was happening in Ottawa, I wasn't able to upload videos and talk about the Freedom Convoys or anything of that nature or what was happening in Ottawa because I was blocked at the time. So I haven't gotten to speak on any of these topics or any of the world-changing things that have just taken place in our world. And that's kind of weird considering that that's the type of stuff that I talk about and all of a sudden YouTube shuts me down and locks me out for a good couple of months during these most historical times in the world, like when a war is happening and all that stuff. So I can't talk about any of these things kind of strange but i'm gonna make this video today anyways and i probably won't be able to upload it for like another i don't even know three months it says 90 days so <laughs> um everything is gonna happen by then everything that i would like to tell you and what i believe is going to happen or what my thoughts are on what i think is going to happen because i can't have an opinion on anything or else it's medical misinformation or misinformation in general. So, um, give it my best shot. Um, but I, you know, have something to offer as a human being to this world as everybody else does in this world. Some people are blind, some people aren't. Some people can see things that others can't. And that's why it's great to have community. And my community is being censored and targeted for exposing corruption within the system and basically the attack against humanity and the new world order in the one world government that Russia is fighting for. Okay, and that's what I'm going to talk about, okay? There's bigger things going on than why all, why all this stuff is happening, as we already know. I think most people know now, but most people are just still in denial and they already been you know, duped, so they're just accepting it as is, and they don't want to talk about it because they're embarrassed. But anyways, um, here's the thing, right? I was talking about this whole New World Order shit, like, I don't know, 10 years ago. I was talking about how they were going to lock down all the cities and lock us in and then make it so we can't escape and we have to get forced through their system. It was the FEMA camps and all that stuff. Maybe that's what they were preparing for all these years, right? But only these things are actually taking place now. Ever. Ever, ever. In history. There's never been a time that was more biblical. Ever. Ever, ever. It's quite obvious at this point in time, undeniably, that even the Bible... 2,000 years ago that was written 
has predicted things 2,000 years ago that are only happening right now in the last two years. But in reality, the Bible has been predicting everything for the last 2,000 years. But people say it's a contradiction. Guess what? You're wrong. Because when I was in a jail cell, I believed in the exact same thing as arrogant people. And I said, you know what? I'm going to challenge the Bible intellectually and I'm going to read the entire thing front to back and I'm going to decode it and decipher it and I'm going to expose it for myself since everybody has an opinion but I don't really lean on shit like that. I need to know for myself so that's what I did. And guess what? Everything I ever heard people say about the Bible was completely untrue, twisted, um, fabricated and you know, just, just complete false. They twist things to make it seem like something else that it's not. And the only way you're ever going to inherit the knowledge of what it actually is meaning and teaching is if you had a humble heart and an open mind to begin with when you approached it, which you didn't. You approached it out of ignorance and arrogance. That's why you weren't able to actually see the true message and it actually came off to you as a contradiction. Because you're a contradiction. But here, check this out. I have this book. It's called The Evidence Study Bible. Now, I'm going to start making videos addressing a lot of these doubts and questions about the Bible. First of all, here's the index. Now, there's a lot in this book. There's like 2,000 pages. Um, but it breaks down basically every doubt and every question and every um, claim against the Bible and actually breaks that down and actually reveals the opposite of what is being claimed against it. And that's what people don't do. You know, and people don't go and read the Bible. They'll, they'll see this in a YouTube video and be like, oh, the Bible's a contradiction and hear people talking about, about the Bible and everything and about Christ and, you know, Christians, which there's an entire world of fake Christians that are doing evil, saying that they come in the name of Jesus. But it literally tells us in the Bible, Jesus tells us that there's going to be many people that are going to come in my name and, and, and do evil, saying that they are a part of me and they're not. They are false prophets. So, but the world will fall for that and then be like, see, that's an example of Christianity. These are Christians. They're all pedophiles, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, that's another topic that I'm going to get into because people actually don't know that, you know what? I am a follower of Jesus Christ. I do read the Bible. I'll show you right now. And guess what? It is the main reason in my life why I'm still alive, why um. I've been able, able to overcome all the things that I have been able to overcome in my life. Why I spent 15 years in the streets going through homelessness since I was a 14-year-old kid with no family or parents to take care of me. Um, and not do drugs, not become an alcoholic. You know, in the teenage years, of course. I drank, of course. I popped an ecstasy pill. Yeah, I did a line of coke here and there. Never did hard drugs, never smoked crack, never did any hard drugs or anything like that. And that was literally because of the Bible. And also watching my father inject needles into his arm since I was a young kid. Um, and see him go through addiction. Which he died when I was in jail, when I was 18 years old. And I missed the funeral and he was dying in the hospital across the street from me. I could look through the cracks and see outside and see the hospital. And I missed the funeral because they brought me to court and gave me another 30 days on top of my sentence of a month that I just already served. But that's another story too. But I've been through a lot. So I've been around the block. I'm not easily gullible. I'm not easily manipulated, easily convinced. Um, so there's a Bible here. I've been sleeping with a Bible beside my head since I was 18 years old, since I went to jail and my dad died. There's a lot attached to this, but... <clears throat> I haven't been able to make any videos talking about a lot of this stuff, so I'm kind of going off uh, about all types of stuff. Anyways, I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> Let me open this window. 
So, let me calm down. Anyways, in this book, so there's some things I want to talk about, right? Obviously the war. Obviously what happened in Ottawa. Obviously the country completely had to um, submit to the power of Canadians because we run this country. Um, Freedom-loving people built this country. Pe people that fought and died for this for freedom to exist in this country. And it's the only country that is legitimately free in the world. So, yeah, you're... <laughs> You know what I mean? But that doesn't matter to the satanic slave system that we all um, live under. Um, because they'll just come and kill us anyways. Or they'll get us to kill ourselves willingly by injecting ourselves with things. Um, by conflicting fear on us. And um, false science um, that, we be that man believes in so much. They put their faith in man and they put their faith in science instead of God. So they're... It says in the Bible, my people are destroyed for a lack, for their lack of knowledge. <clears throat> so, I didn't fall for any of that stuff. I'm doing fine. But, here's the thing. Yeah, so, the whole thing. Okay, so, I, th I find it funny that the whole country dropped all the mandates, except for B.C., like, they think that they dictate what happens in the country or something. Like, they're a leader of some sort, which they're not. And they don't have any say in what happens at all. Try to play it off like that. Now they're submitting. March 8th, no more masks. Or, sorry. Um, March 8th is when they drop the passport. All mandates are going to be dropped by March 8th. And I think March 11th is, is when the masks are dropped. Not sure. But, either way... It's so funny how every single part of the country tried to defend themselves in a way, especially Trudeau, especially Doug Ford, and Ottawa, the capital of Canada, um, try to act like, <laughs> they're like, yeah, literally, like, <laughs> after the whole Freedom Convoy, started, you know, was happening, and it was at its peak, and they realized there was nothing that they could do at all, and, and we shut the whole world down, we shut the whole world down, the whole world was watching whole country was shut down right <clears throat> you know um mad respect to the truckers um and the people that that you know stood with them but yeah man they set it off so either way <laughs> they immediately dropped the mandates because they realized that they couldn't do sh there was nothing they could do no more they they either submit or we're going to reclaim our entire country back from you and you're going to get thrown out period so immediately they're like oh yeah we're just we're, we're dropping the mandates now but like three days ago they're like this is not how you do this you know like we're keeping we need the science proves that we need to be taking these shots and these masks blah 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 right they're holding their shit down they're holding it down they're not they're not backing down you know what i'm saying three days later like um excuse me <clears throat> uh, we're um we're dropping all mandates because it was that time and we needed to do that anyways, and we've seen improvements in, in the statistics all of the sudden. And now we're dropping all mandates, and it was not because of the Freedom Convoy. Just to make that clear, we're not doing it because of that. You know how embarrassing? Do you really, did you just see that? Did you see how fake this system, this matrix is? There's never been a time in history where it was more clear that the people that lead the world and the laws and the forces that be are are a hundred percent corrupt except for the willing slaves that participate in it um <clears throat> for whatever reason some you know there's you can't expect everybody to be a warrior you can't expect everybody to be a soldier you can't expect everybody to be you know a fighter some people are civilians and they don't have the capability of being a warrior and some people are, are, are just, they've been, you know, obviously they've been brainwashed by the system and, and they have faith in it instead of God. So, but bottom line is, we were right about everything. The shots, they're now coming out, showing that, you know, the shots are killing people all over, killing kids. Children are dying because of the shots. Um, oh yeah, they're going to call this medical misinformation. I better not say that. Can't tell that you can't say the truth about anything real, or else you're gonna get shut down. So, <laughs> anyways, bottom line is, take a look. 
they're shutting they they're, they're they're putting all the mandates down because we took we fought for that um because of the trucker convoy that's the real reason but uh these people will never admit that because they're cowards but here's another thing the thing with the war i've been talking about the new world order um for 10 plus years 2012 i was making posts on facebook saying that this was going to happen <laughs> Le le legit and i'm not the only one they took alex jones right off because he was already talking about this shit but he got too twisted and in, in you know in the matrix started acting crazy but you know he, he you know he made a mockery of himself so he, de he he discredited himself but he was also under severe attack you know for exposing these things on a mass level scale f from 20 years ago but anyways um <clears throat> Whether you like uh, Alex Jones or not, you know, <laughs> you know, it's quite clear what happened and what's happening. But anyway, so <clears throat> the reason why Russia is smashing Ukraine is because they're taking advantage of an opportunity. Every single country wants to be the head of the new world order, which is a one world government. No more governments and, you know, country leaders. It's going to be one who... <laughs> China, they're the biggest monster on the block, right? Next to Russia. And think about it. They're right beside each other. So listen, man. America's already been doing a lot of nasty, nasty stuff. Real evil shit, okay? For a long time, they've been smashing countries falsely, making false claims about these countries so they could go and smash them and take their resources and kill people that, you know didn't want to you know participate in their agenda but you know america's the belly of the beast really and you might say well there's worse countries and yeah in, in certain aspects there are but when it comes to this game this evil evil game america's the head of that and every other country <clears throat> has just been strategically trying to find a way where they can wrong america and then turn against them and smash them and that's why NATO was formed too, right? To secure, you know, these, the things that they're doing to secure themselves. So that way, if a country goes to war with America, they got 10 other countries that are going to back them up. Because these 10 other countries are backed up by America if, if a country goes to war with them. It makes them stronger. They're going to last longer. Stops a country from Russia or China from coming in, invading, and just taking everything because they don't believe in the same, share the same morals as we do out here. Like China's a slave country. So these countries are fighting over this position to be the head of the New World Order, okay? And China's always been secretly sitting there waiting and watching, and that's why they've been developing themselves so rapidly and so strongly in their military, and Russia too. All these other countries know what America's been doing for a long, long, long time. And now, the revenge is going to come. Everything is going to flip on the states. <clears throat> and she's going to go down with great fury. Says it in the Bible. Babylon. It's not talking about Rome. The Bible is active and living in the current times and in the past times. Historical times. Um, it's talking about America. And the horror of Babylon is the Statue of Liberty. Wrap that around your head. So, I believe China and Russia are going to gang up together and they're going to smash America. Canada is connected to America, so we're both going to get smashed because Canada is a part of NATO. It's going to be, obviously, World War III. Russia is going to start exposing <clears throat> things that America is doing that only other countries other countries know about like you know presidents on a presidential level and above classified information that's not even you know <laughs> there's a whole lot going on i think a lot of us know but <clears throat> that's my take and i think there is some type of hidden reason why russia attacked ukraine and one of the things going on right now is that apparently the states has labs biochemical labs or whatever 
in Ukraine that have been tampering with COVID bat strands and all types of stuff like that. But for how long? Who knows? Like, bottom line is, there's a war going on, and we don't know about it. And it's against us, the free. Um, and these countries are, are doing evil things for a long time, and, and, and the karma has to come, and it all has to blow up so, at some point, and that's now. So, we are in the end of the end times. God is real, the devil is real, and the new world order is real. And all this stuff that I was talking about 10 years ago, that everybody said you're a conspiracy theorist, psychopath, blah, blah, mentally ill, paranoid... Well, now all those things are a real living reality at this point in time. But where are all those fucking people that were talking shit? I don't hear or see any of them in the comments anymore. They're probably just trying to fucking um, deal with the reality that they're living under now. But, you know, it is what it is. Bottom line is, it's all happening. And that's what I believe is going to happen. So I've been predicting all this stuff the whole time. Go watch my videos. I literally <laughs> made a video like two years ago saying that COVID was never meant to go away. It's not going to go away. It's the beginning of the building of the structure of the new world order and the one world government. And now these countries are going to fight amongst each other over the position. And it's not good because China is, uh, is uh, the biggest. Russia's right beside China. China's a slave country. They don't give a fuck. Um, they would fucking conquer everything if, if they really wanted to, and they do want to, and they're, they're going to, so <laughs> it's, it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, now there's something biblical too, that we can lean on too, because when all countries go against Israel, we know that's when Jesus is going to come, um, the second coming of Jesus Christ and judgment. Well, I mean, Russia... There's something going on in between Russia and and, and um, Israel. Pretty sure. And there's something that's going to pop off with that now. So his his reach is going to expand past Ukraine, and there's because there's been things going on in the background, anyways. Now, you know they set it off. Russia set it off. So now every other country has to. Now, you know, it's a fight for the position of the head of the New World Order. Countries are going to get exposed. America is going to get exposed. They're going to get nuked. They're going to get smashed. You know what I'm saying? So it literally says in the Bible that my people should come up out of her, Babylon. So if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, man, you need, you need you know, in, in God or what whatnot. The Bible has literally been guiding me since... I picked it up since I was 18 years old when I was in a jail cell. Every step that I take, every move that I make, I've been dodging bullets and things that have almost killed me, people, all types of attacks against me. I have successfully, effortlessly avoided and overcome and conquered because of the Bible and because of the Word of God and the connection that I had. Before I even read the Bible, I had an experience that God revealed Himself to me in a way that I was undeniable not just once, but a series of events. And it continued on throughout my life for the last 15 years since it started. Once I openly opened myself up and, and, and seeked God out with a humble heart, he revealed himself to me and felt my pain. Um, but it'll never happen if you don't seek God out with your heart. <clears throat> so you may live your entire life and never experience any proof or evidence of God. And that's because of your heart. It's been hardened. You already don't believe. You're not willing to. So he will never reveal himself in a way that will give you evidence to yourself for the rest of your life that God does exist. And for those that it does happen to, the phenomena or experience is obviously in a supernatural way that would be impossible for me to prove to you unless you witnessed it yourself. And God will not allow you to witness it because your heart is hardened in the first place says it in the Bible that the word is not for everybody and the people that it's not for will look at the word as if it's a foreign language and laugh at it, mock it, and won't be able to understand what it's saying. So bottom line is, we're in biblical times. 
the Bible has been accurate the entire 2,000 years of its existence. I don't know why people are, are uh, you know, so ignorant. But I was at one point too, so I can't say nothing. But that's that's why it's my job to, I, I'm going to start investing myself into this because I should. So I want to do one real quick thing because this video is already way too long. But look, there's there's scientific right here. Hebrew 11 verse 3. Scientific facts in the Bible. Science confirms the Bible. Page 17, uh, 1793. Okay. Hebrew 11, 3. Scientific facts in the Bible. Okay, let me look here. This is a big, big book. But I want to... You know what? I'm just... I might not read this right now because I actually want to dedicate an entire video to just that and read that to you guys and go through it because you know what it's man I'm telling you if you don't believe in God or the Bible or whatnot you're going to after I break everything down and I show you coming from a street dude that used to sell crack and kick people's fucking doors in okay I'm not no Bible thumping fucking weirdo that was raised in a, in, a, in, a, in a fucking religious family or some shit. I grew up in the streets. I was gang banging and kicking doors in and selling crack and spitting on people. I had no remorse for human life. Uh, I, you know, I was a demon and I was empowered by the spirit of Satan. And I knew that there was a devil before there was even a God. And I knew the devil before I even knew God. And, I, and then I found, experienced God because I opened my heart up to God. And I screamed out to him in the sky. Before I ever even picked the Bible up or ever heard anything about a God. That's what proof, what it was proof for me. I was like, okay, well, guess what? I haven't been brainwashed by a Bible. So that can't be the case. But what just happened is undeniable. And that really just happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, And it just, I kept calling on God. And I just kept calling on God. And it kept happening. And it kept happening. The, it was just insane. I will, I'm going to start telling the stories now. I haven't told nobody. I don't push my faith on anyone, I don't preach, I don't do none of that, but I'm going to start, you know what I mean, because it's that time now, God's calling on me to be who I'm supposed to be now, but anyways, you know, it's just a part of the growth, and, and don't get it twisted, people will say, well, oh, you're swearing in your video, you're talking about God in the same sentence, well, you know what, God knows my heart, he knows my intent, I know I'm a sinner, and that's why I need God every day, and I need God's forgiveness, I don't try to bend or, or take advantage, even though that I do naturally because I'm a sinner. God knows my intent, so that doesn't matter. God's my judge. And I try my best. And, and, it, and it's a growth period. It's not, it doesn't just happen overnight. You know, it, it's a fight. It's a battle. And God develops you over however many years he decides, whatever the number he chose. Could be 10, could be 2, could be 5, could be 20 years could be 50 you know what i'm saying but inevitably a child of god will always go to his creator so that's the direction i'm going in regardless and you will see that and you have must have been seeing that growth in me <laughs> i was in a tent not too long ago you this is all what i'm going through is spiritual warfare and god is doing things to me to teach me things he allowed me to be homeless for a period of time and not even be harmed, not end up on drugs. I have no, like, he gave me the spirit, the Holy Spirit, so I could endure and I could resist the devil's temptation. I could resist alcohol and drugs and all that stuff, even though I was in the streets with people doing it beside me and I was depressed and I had nowhere to go and I might as well do it just to get through the night. Not even happening because God was always there. The Bible was always there telling me and warning me about these signs and these temptations and what they will result in. And he allowed things to happen in my life that was proof to me, that would show me what will happen if I, if, I, if I keep playing with sin. And it did happen. My life was altered because of it. And God did things right in front of me to break me so he could rebuild me into the man that I was supposed to be to serve him and give testimony to him. And that's what I'm going to do now. Whether people leave my channel or not or don't like it because I have friends that are, you know, do, uh, are against it, you know, don't believe in a God, and they would think I'm, I'm, I'm stupid if, if I believed in this, but I'm going to show it to you in a way 
that you'll learn to, to, to respect. Either way, this, this video went too far. It's already 30 minutes. I'm going to start breaking this book down and the Bible down. And that's what I'm doing for now on. But anyways, that's my take on everything that's happening right now. I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but I told you what the date was. March 10th, Thursday. So, <clears throat> I don't know when this video is going to come out. Everything may have already happened by then, which it's already in the process. And things that I knew were going to happen, you know, four months ago that are just happening right now, I was saying, but I couldn't upload it because I couldn't upload because YouTube stopped me right in the most historical time in history. <laughs> Ironic. Anyways, Queer Resilient. Hit the like, hit the share. And uh, I'm going to start sharing my journey, you know, with God. I'm not going to keep it in the background no more. I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to break it down on a real level to you. And you don't have to believe it and you don't have to listen to me, you know what I'm saying? But it is real. And it's, it's I mean, those those who have ears, allow them to hear. Those who have eyes, allow them to see. But not everybody's going to hear the message. Not everyone's going to see it. And people are going to close their hearts and harden their hearts in ways that they can't receive the message regardless. <clears throat> so, anyways, I'm out.